What's up, everybody? Hey, restaurant owners, are you leaving pennies on the table? Literally, are you leaving pennies on the table is my question to you. And those pennies add up, you know. Hey, it's Chef Marcus Giuliano, your chef on a mission. Um, welcome to Restaurant Growth Secrets University, um, my online tutorial course on how to run a restaurant and make money, be profitable, bring in more sales, fill up the seats. All right, so have you seen those commercials? I think it was um, Staples or Office Depot or Office, Office Max, Office Max. How the guy pulls in with a pickup truck um, to a car dealership and wants to buy a, tr a car and cash. And all of a sudden he takes his, I think it was a Ford Ranger or something. And he takes off the uh, tarp and there's a boatload of pennies. And he goes, I'm paying with pennies today. Or how about the scene where the restaurant owner goes in, uh, the, the restaurant customer goes into the restaurant, eats a meal, and then pulls out the bags of pennies and tosses them on the table and wants to pay and they kick them out, right? Just paying with pennies. Folks, pennies add up. And if you're not watching those pennies, that can turn into thousands and thousands of dollars. How is that possible? You might be wondering. It's just pennies. And I know, Marcus, you're going to tell me to touch this up, touch this up, you know, and, and all this hard work to make a couple pennies is what you're going to tell me to do. No, I'm not. I'm going to tell you to work smarter and make those thousands. All right. And it's going to, this comes down to menu pricing. First of all, this day and age, if you're having not raised your menu prices, you are living under a rock and you're going to um, attract people that are living under a rock. Uh, menu prices, food prices, everything is at an all time high. Um, so you be, need to be updating your menu prices and know what you pay for your food, not what your neighbor's charging, what you're paying. With that being said, was that a friend's restaurant recently or somebody I know's restaurant and um, very well-known restaurant. And I see this, I see this at a lot of restaurants, a lot of celebrity chefs, all, I see this constantly happening. I'm like, is there something that, that these guys, these well-known chefs, famous restaurateurs, is there something that they know that I don't know? Because I'm looking at their menu and it says French fries, $6.95. I'm like, why isn't it $6.99? Um, whatever dish, $5.25, $5.25. Why isn't it $5.25, $5.50? $5 why isn't it $5.75? Why isn't it $5.79? And then I look at their whole menu, strip steak, New York strip steak, $27.95. I'm like, this is crazy. They're leaving four cents on the table every single time somebody orders something, every single time that they have an order there. And I'm thinking, no, first of all, a little bit of psychology about this. People don't care about four cents. If somebody's buying something for $6.95, they don't care if it's $6.95 or $6.99. They don't care. $25.95, $25.99, they really don't care. 20 bucks, 30 bucks at $12 and up. It's not even noticeable when you get down under $12 and there are. So now I ask uh, this person I know, I said, hey, how many, what's your most popular item here? He goes, French fries. Goes, how many French fries do you sell a year? I mean, a day. And he goes, oh, I sell, you know, literally 225 orders a day. I was like, that's a good number, 225 times four cents, $9. $9 is just $9 times 365, $3,300. He's like, whoa. I was like, $3,300 you just left on the table on that one item. Now let's look at your other items. Every item here, every item here, you're doing three to 400 people a day here. Every single item, you're losing four cents per item, two items per person every day, all day long. And we do the numbers like, man, 12 grand. You're Marcus, you're killing me, $12,000. Like, yeah, 12 grand of people are just going to keep buying like normal. It's like taking that money. And if you're doing $3 million, you might be like, what's 12 grand going to do, Marcus? I'm $3 million, 12 grand is going to give your staff bonuses, your, your main person, a bonus, um, divide it up. It's going to get you some new equipment. It's going to get you a new convection oven. It's going to, you know, you can buy a, a nice Japanese knife every month and give it away to a staff member. Um, you can take that $12,000 and put it back into marketing into giving free food out. If you give out free food from that 12,000, you would probably generate, I don't know, 150,000 in sales, 200,000 in sales. If you did it right. Um, we got to talk about that because you don't want to do it wrong. Um, Facebook ads, all kinds of advertising will work if you do it right. So now um, he's like, man, this is adding up. I said, now here's where it gets really fun because you have a dish there at 625. Why isn't that dish 650? That's 25 cents you're leaving on the table. Why isn't that now, if you're thinking 625, 650, if it's 650, why isn't it six? 75 or 679 625 and 679 to the consumer is not a difference they're not going to stop buying it
because of a lousy 50 cents or 54 cents. How many of those you sell a day? How many of those? Oh, you know, we sell 108 of those a day. I said, okay, 108. What's the math on that? 108 times 0.54 equals $58 times 365 equals there $21,000 you left on that one item on the table and 54 cents. And then the other items was another 12,000. You have 21,000 here. Sure, now you're doing it. You have a $3 million restaurant, three and a half million dollars in sales. But we're now adding up. We're going to get into the 30,000 very easily here for stuff you're leaving on. That right there is a whole nother game changer. That right there is another position. Um, it's a lot of bonuses. It's a lot of promotional money. It's a lot of giveaways. It's a lot of a lot that you're totally leaving on the table. If you took that money and reinvested into your business, or you did nothing but give t-shirts away to, to people that walked in the door. If you took that 30,000, just give out t-shirts. All right, what does the t-shirt cost you? Five bucks, maybe six bucks now. So 35,000 divided by, let's say $6 equals um, you have 5,800 5, shirts away you can give a year. If they're more money than that, then they're 4,000 shirts. But 4,000 shirts to give away a year, 5,000 shirts to give away a year, that's massive marketing. That's massive brand awareness. So you put that money to work. Now, if you really wanted it to work, you put that money into a double, triple opt-in Facebook ad for Messenger where people have to give you their phone number, their address, their birthday, and they've, they've had six or seven touch points where they're giving you their information, which makes it a very, 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 very highly um, redeemable offer of some sort. Um, I was just explaining to somebody just recently, um, like within the last few minutes before this video, uh, about marketing and how one of my lead magnets is a free ribeye, a strip steak for their birthday. I got $5 in the dish and everybody spends on average $112 every time they come in with their offer. So if you could walk out into the streets right now and keep handing out $5 bills and get $112 back, you'd probably do that all day long. Well, that $5 bill to me is a strip steak. And this is a whole other topic um, that we'll jump into at another point in, in, in somewhere in my videos, especially in my courses, we, uh, Secrets, we, we talk about it. But now we're talking about now we're talking about some real, real marketing techniques. All right. So folks, do not leave, do not leave the pennies on the table. The pennies on the tables add up significantly. All right. So thanks for, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I really appreciate it. Restaurantgrowthsecretsuniversity.com to learn more on how to run a restaurant and how to make your restaurant successful um, and to love your restaurant, to fall in love with your restaurant, your business, have a fantastic business.